light and peace in Christ Jesus our Lord. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us pray. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. This is a reading from Matthew. Because you're not yet taking God seriously, said Jesus, the simple truth is that if you had a mere kernel of faith, a poppy seed say, you would tell this mountain move and it would move. There is nothing you wouldn't be able to tackle. doesn't take much is what Jesus Jesus is saying and I, I think uh, you know sometimes we're too hard on ourselves and we say that we don't have enough uh, or that we are not enough but Jesus is saying no you are enough and you have enough it's just a matter of uh, taking the leap of faith uh, in order to to show ourselves that uh, we are worthy in God's sight and that we are capable of doing great things for the building up of the kingdom, not only by having faith in God, but by having faith in ourselves. No matter how small we might think it is, it can do great things uh, for the building up of the kingdom. And we know that whatever we offer, if it's offered in faith, will be pleasing in God's sight. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, creator of the changes of day and night, giving, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, bestowing upon us occasions of song in the evening. As you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in this coming night. Keep us from every sin, every evil, and every fear, for you are our light and salvation and the strength of our life. To you be glory for endless ages. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Every time I try to make it on my own. Every time I try to stay.
Blessing, Mary. 